Hello there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can take advantage of the templates from our emails using MailChimp. So first of all, what I want to do is to log in into my MailChimp account. So for that, I'm going to be leaving you guys a link down below in the description so you can create your account. It's going to be really, really simple. So once you click down in there, it's going to be asking if you want to choose a MailChimp standard account, essential account, premium, I'm just going to stick around with the free option. But I'm going to be with that link that I'm going to be leaving you guys, you're going to be able to earn even a free trial of 14 days period uh, with a premium mode. So you want to take advantage of that. You want to input an email, create a username and tap into a passcode. You don't want to receive emails. If you don't want to get spammed, you want to choose this option and key it into sign up. In my case, what I do want to look for. So here I just need to input my email, input the passcode and here it into continue. Now I just remember to check out the I'm not a robot of the recapture. So it's going to be um, helping us to enter, which is really, really simple. So once you have your account created, what you want to find out is the home section which is actually in here. We have the create section, we have the campaigns, we have the audience, we have the automations, analytic website content, and a lot of integrations. So what I do want only to focus you guys is into the first option that says campaigns. And here into the campaigns, I do have the all campaigns and I do have the email template. Uh, this is the option that I want to be focused on. So here into the template, I can choose a template from the MailChimp designers and I can make this fit into my brand. So what I want to do is to go into the create a template. In here, I can choose some layout themes and these are some codes that we owned. You can import your HTML, but if you don't know anything about that, you don't have to be worrying about it. I'm just going to go into the theme section. And here, as you can see, there are a few featured stuff that I can choose. So let's say, for example, that I do want to focus into, uh, let's say I want to use the event because I want to create an event for a specific date. So I want to choose this option. There we go. So as you can see, we are now into the edit section inside MailChimp, so we can start to edit our template. So here is my email template. As you can see, these are like a few sections that I just need to click. And lastly, what I just need to do is to change the things that I need to register here. For example, I want to change the uh, editable region. So instead of September, I'm going to be choosing December on the 2022 and here instead of 27 I'm going to hit into edit I want to choose 16 if you want to choose a different font you actually you can do this so let's say I want to choose December 2 and here into the font which is actually this option I can edit the font let's say for example that I want to choose something like this uh, I think this one looks a little bit better all right so here what I want to do is to change all of these options I mean this is totally up to you guys be creative if you want to destroy if you don't want to see a specific block for example let's say you don't want to use this option I want to use only use the are you sure about deleting the content block go into delete and boom the content block it's not available in here if you want to add something else let's say I'm going to go into save and close here I do have different blocks that I can add into my main email template so let's say for example that I want to choose a video or a social follow so I want to just click in here and drag this on the lower body so it's going to be appearing here to different socials so let's say I want to choose YouTube I want to choose Instagram and here I want to choose uh, actually website looks great but I can choose maybe Spotify and I just need to choose um, my links right my specific links so here what I want to choose is to change my profile URL so for example I'm going to change that like this and here I want to do exactly the same thing and after that hit into saved in close now if you want 
to change the linked text, the linked text, uh, you can do that. You can change even the style if you want to choose like a background color because there's actually no background. So I want to choose the background. Let's see if I can choose uh, in a specific color, like for example, this option. All right, kind of looks better, right? So I'm going to leave it like that. If you want to choose a border to make this look much more interesting, like the inset or the groove or even the reach like this, I think it's going to be looking more interesting. I just want to make this a little bit more big enough. Like it. All right. So I think it's going to be lastly, what I just want to choose is to go into saving close and our email template is going to be taking uh, so much foam. So I don't want to focus in here a lot into the design. I just need to choose the replace image here. I can upload my own image if I want to. So let's say I'm just going to be choosing this image because it's looking really, really great. This is an NFT that I created for OpenSea. So once again, I'm not going to be focusing a lot in here into the creation of the email template. So once you have your template here, I'm just going to put something like this. I don't want to be focusing a lot in here like this. So once you have here your email template, go into save and close, preview and test, enter preview mode. Please wait. So here we do have the desktop option of my template. This is how it's going to be looking. Here's the register button. Here is our links. I want to choose mobile. So this is how it's going to be looking the inbox preview of the of the email. But I believe this is only for the premium options. I think that you might be able to see this because you do have the trial version. So after that, hit into the X button. If you are OK with that, go into the preview test once again and you can send a test email to yourself. So let's say that I want to send this email to myself to my Gmail account. So I'm going to hit into at Gmail. How does my mail is going to be looking? So as you can see, this is the MailChimp template test. This is my email and this is the latest stuff that we just created. So there we go. We just tested. We just see it and it's actually working. So go into the saved and exit. You want to name your template. Let's say, for example, this is like an event live stream and hit into save and it's going to be appearing into your uh, email template. Here it is. Save it. If you don't want to see any of those, you want to choose these dot and hit into uh, delete because actually I think that appears in here. All right. So I just need to type delete and we are actually good to go. So there we have it, guys. It wasn't that hard. Hopefully, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about the MailChimp. Really, really great, great application. Once again, you do have the link down below in the description. So good luck with your MailChimp uh, emails. Thank you so much for watching this video once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.